My name is Karthik Venkatraman and I am the coordinator for technical services with Central Queensland Waste Management, which is part of the Central Queensland Local Government Association. And we work with five councils in Central Queensland. And my role is to uh, go and visit, review the landfills, help the uh, councils with waste management, uh, technical issues with landfill management and landfill operation. So it's uh, that's my work profile at the moment. At the moment, and also I'm doing my. Uh, PhD part-time with uh, Central Queensland University with Centre for Plant and Water Sciences, uh, working on fighter capping, which is also part of my job to promote fighter capping in uh, Central Queensland. Every landfill has a life, and once the landfill is full, that is filled with waste, uh, the DERM, the Department of Environmental and Resource Management, uh, Queensland uh, has a mandatory capping system, which is basically clay. And uh, in the previous findings have found that uh, uh, clay capping cracks over a period of time and allows water to percolate through the refuse. And the main primary intention for capping is to reduce the water infiltration through the refuse to uh, uh, reduce the env environmental impacts such as leachate generation and methane gas emission. And uh, the clay caps are expensive, firstly, and uh, they do not perform in all weather conditions and they have a shorter life. And lastly, they don't uh, have the porosity to diffuse oxygen with methane gas emitting out of the landfill to oxidize methane or reduce methane going into the atmosphere. We are trying out a new technology which my research focuses on. It's called phyto capping. It's called phyto, phyto means trees. And basically we are using soil of a certain depth and uh, trees of different species to reduce the same, the water infiltration going through the refuse. So in this system what happens is when rain falls, part of the rain is actually held in the canopy of the tree species and uh, it's evaporated uh, directly into the atmosphere, uh, atmosphere without reaching the ground surface. And the part of the rain that reaches the ground surface is held in the soil cover and then is taken up by the trees in, in the form of transpiration. So this grossly reduces the uh, water infiltration going through. On the, other, on the other hand, we also found that uh, fire caps can reduce methane emission into the atmosphere. So when methane gas passes through the soil cover and the root zone, it, uh, the, there are a lot of methanog uh, methanogens, basically uh, methane oxidizing bacteria that uh, convert ma uh, methane into carbon dioxide and water. And the carbon dioxide so formed is biogenic, it's not carcinogenic, so it's not uh, contributing to the global warming uh, aspect. So methane is reduced and so the glo global warming potential is reduced from landfills as well. So there's dual purpose to this fighter capping system. One is reducing the water infiltration and also reduce, reducing methane gas going into the atmosphere. And uh, secondly, uh, fighter capping is 50% less expensive than a clay capping system. A clay capping system on an average costs around $400,000 per hectare. And uh, a fire capping system costs only $200,000 per hectare. Uh, it's also mandatory for all the councils and landfill owners to manage the capping system once it's capped for the next 30 years. And it, uh, it has cost, uh, uh, it has cost uh, millions and millions of dollars in just maintaining the integrity of the system. And on the other hand, fire capping being a biogenic system, a biosystem, it can self-repair and there's not much money and uh, labor going into this system. So it's going to be very cost effective and also may contribute to the carbon pollution reduction scheme by reducing the amount of methane going into the atmosphere. So we have a lot of uh, um, incentives by going into the fighter, by switching into fighter capping systems. So we are looking forward to, we are liaising with the DERM uh, in Brisbane and we look forward uh, to have some results soon. Uh, giving a gist of my PhD uh, results and also giving uh, a glimpse of what's been happening uh, nationwide uh, on, on different national trials uh, with the same fighter capping uh, concept and how the different sites have been performing and how it, it has been accepted and acknowledged across the nation. And we'll soon see fighter capping being implemented on a large scale in central, in central Queensland.